when we are overwhelmed, swamped by failing health, by the reality that we are susceptible to old age, by a lack of physical, by a lack of mental capabilities, by the pressures that batter the church, that batter a Christian way of life, when we're overwhelmed or swamped by death, by anxieties, transitions, the challenges of maturity. With all of those and with more, we need, not only can we, but need to project the image of the swamped and battered boat that the apostles were in, that Jesus was in too with them. From the early parts of Genesis, even when Noah was in the ark, an image of the church, God's plan was for them to build and to accompany them. And today in the gospel, God is in the boat with them amidst the storm and the seas. Believe it or not, God rests and is at peace for us, with us, in this boat of our faith. First reading is a small slice of the conclusion of the book of Job. Job, of course, has suffered, sometimes with great lack of understanding. And God comes not to rebuke him, but reminds him that when Job was created, and all of us who may share and be able to learn something from that moment of Job's suffering and his perseverance, that God doesn't come and create us and throw us into the midst of creation. God comes, surrounds us with creation as we hear from Genesis and takes us through because going through the storms is what is redemptive. Being able to live despite the fact that we don't have control is what is redemptive. God aids Job. Jesus aids the apostles do you not yet have faith? Let us cross to the other side, a sense of journey, a sense of pilgrimage. God will be with us, whatever we have to cross. It may remind us today, if we take the words from a very ancient poem, the breastplate of St. Patrick, written many years ago, but which assures us that Christ is with us in all things, every passage, Patrick writes, Christ be beside me, Christ be within me, Christ be on my left, Christ be on my right, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in the words of all that I encounter. In every situation, especially those that we may be overwhelmed or swamped by, collectively or individually, Christ is present. Amen.